What's up, Hedgehog BX? Sonic17 here. I am back with more Doki Doki Shadowed Wall. A mod for Doki Doki Logic Club. The last time you guys saw me play this mod, Monica said that she was able to restore the characters, but the background was still gonna be messed up. I want to say something else. If you wonder, if you now have to wonder if I have seen the ending for the final battle for her drone video that was up uploaded on Van Games, I have. I planned on the reaction, but there was an audio issue, so there's gonna be no reaction for, for me for that. I'm sorry. Like I said, seeing that just reminds me of the upcoming Lemon Attack that happened in 2018. If you don't know what I mean, then that's alright. But enough of me talking, without further ado, let's dive in, and let's do it to it. Now some of you are going to be wondering why the skip is why the skip is shown. I actually tried doing this beforehand, but there was an audio issue for this. But to be honest, like I, this kind of plays out like the main game. So, I mean, maybe some issue with this, but I can understand if you guys get upset with me for it. But let's continue. Yeah! I get dressed into my uniform and head outside. Ready to work the school again? Ready to work the school again? Sure. <laughs> the school day starts once again. The school day starts once again as as boring as ever. <laughs> High school for ya. Before I know it, the bell rings. I enter the club room. Enter the club room? The usual scene greets me. Hi, Sanyas! Yo, Sayori! Reasons. Why don't we take a look at your puss, Sayori? <laughs> no reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> you can tell she's caught. <laughs> anyway. I really noticed that you treated some pink posts from a red straw and I got it. What? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that was not detected in, in the original dialogue about the mod in installation. Anyway, she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then, she turns it upside down and lets his content spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Yeah. She may, she may, she may be a civet bud, but she, but she can be crafty at times. Even though the MC can't see right through her, as he said. <laughs> anyway. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have had far a stack before coming to the club room. So, either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so I will lend you some. 
But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Typical Sayuri. <laughs> anyway. And so, that only leaves the one option. Guilty? That means you deserve to feel guilty. Wait, was that said in the main game? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Yuri silly giggles. And? I didn't know she was listening in. But face is, is in the book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening to anything. It was just... Something in my book! Yuri! That's not your pretty ball, somebody! That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori! Besides... You should only buy who can responsibly afford. Frankly, at the point of the little mischievous little stuff like that, you're suffering from an effort to retribution. Did I just... I didn't mean that. I get two through my book. Ugh. Yuri does have a point, though. <laughs> I really agree with speaking my head, Yuri. I don't think happy much, but it's about to of you. That's... There's no way you can take that. You're right, though. I did something bad to accept the revolution. Retribution. Sayori? I guess it's a little dumb inside of all of us, isn't it? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Come on, give me a little more credit than that, Sayori! <laughs> wait. Get! Wait a minute. When that happens, it goes to white. It then goes back to, to the background. This must be one that this must be one of the things that Mon was talking about earlier. Anyway. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayuri in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayuri glances around. Is this Ryuko? Because I need a restitution! Retribution! Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, Yuri, but... Let's continue. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you! The guy who drew about the, guy who drew about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Just eat it! Sayori rapidly tails, op rapidly tails open the wrapper and tails takes a big bite. <laughs> Sayori suddenly claps her hand over her mouth. I made my dog! <laughs> They're going through a lot over just one cookie. What do you expect? She's always hungry, Natsuki. <laughs> anyway. Natsuki takes a bite for her own cookie.
why you think I gave you that one? Bye! See ya! I never gave you a share this one with me! <laughs> Sayuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki. Then wraps her arms around her. Oh no. Ah, jeez! I get it! I get it! Cookie's still in the hand. Natsuki reaches up to dodge Sayuri arm of her. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> Sayori suddenly leads down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Oh no. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Now <sighs> full, Sayori trots away to safety. <laughs> oh man. Sayori is really something, isn't she? You and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. But I got kids out, so you like. Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ah! Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about what being late today? Yeah, I haven't either! Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I know she's okay! Of course she's okay! She probably just had something to do today! She's pretty popular after all! Suddenly the door swings open. Wait, what's it up? I'm pretty sure there was more text in the, from the main game. Also, sorry if, sorry if, if I'm not sounding like normally. The weather's kicking in. So if my voice impression for the girls may be a little more different than usual. Anyway. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Ah, there you are. What held you up anyway? Why you got why you gotta do that, Monica? Why you gotta be a pure for a Natsuki like that? Uh well the last meeting was studying hall. To be honest, I kinda just lost lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though! You haven't heard the bell ring at least! I must have not heard it! Since I was playing the piano! Yeah, makes sense. Piano? I wasn't where you played music music as well, Monica. Uh I don't, really! I got the started recently! I always wanted to learn piano! That's so cool! Monica looks at me. Even once I get a little better, I will. Yay. That sounds cool. I also looked forward to it. Is that so? In that case, we'll just out, we'll just out, Sidex. There's that pose again. Like I said, when she does it in the main game, I don't get annoyed by it. But any other time, I get annoyed. But anyway. Uh I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh don't worry. I just practice it a lot easily. And I really like the like love the, the chance to share it once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Did I? Nah, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki would end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to a book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. I saw Natsuki 
that, Hicks? Martha, you gotta stop doing that! Can I talk to you in private in the corridor, please? Wait, this is not part of the script! <laughs> well, like I said in the last video, Monica and the MC have to be careful what they say, because the others could catch on. Anyway. Sorry about that. You see that down here, this was not part of the script. We must follow your character and game has reacted to it. They would just reprogram your avatar so it doesn't react to stuff that does not follow the script. There we are. Now let's talk up. Let's talk outside. Whoa. I'd like to warn you that Chapter 3 is going to occur soon. That's what Sarah gets depressed after I mess after I messed with her. Just want to warn you so warn you so you know what to do when that happens. <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, I may not be feeling 100% this time, but I'll do do what I can. But anyway, I will let you continue in, in game now. Weird. It just. <coughs> it just. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's just. <coughs> the weather's kick. Like I said, the weather's kicking in again. Might, might be a little different at the, right now. Anyway. Okay, everyone. What the read we need to what the read What the read each other's bombs, right? <coughs> Sorry. I'm still kicking in. I also did an extra plan today, so maybe we could come some <sighs> Sorry. I have something extra planned today. So then we could come to sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah! Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything... It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up in... You're gonna have to excuse me for, for a moment. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new bamboos. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We'll need much more than a few decorations. Sayori, Sayori so has been working on posters and I've decided some painters we, we can give out through the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the, for the event. to be performing. Performing? Uh, Marga? Yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance. Each of us are gonna have to choose a poem to recite during the event. The cool part is, we're also gonna let every, anyone else come up with it and recite poems too. So I always put it, so I always put it up put it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Sayuri, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Marco? You did! You did always start putting these posters up, did you? Wait. Wait a minute. Why is Natsuki smiling? And why is Yuri smiling? <clears throat> what is going on around here? Then again, Monica did say something about about them not background's not working properly and everything. So anyway, and, well, I did. You really think 
Is that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There was no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I can never in my life do something like that. <clears throat> Imagine it. Yui shakes her head in fear. Still smiling again. Okay, even Sayori's smiling now. <sighs> no, Sayori! I was like where they're coming from. Remember the Natsuki and Yuri that have never shown their poems with anyone until, until a couple of days ago? It's not the ask for them to, to recite their poems out loud to a whole to a whole group full of people. <clears throat> I guess I kinda of overlooked that. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Manga have been trying really hard to get some new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> man. Well, maybe, but. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Okay, fine! I guess I just have to get it over with! Hooray! Ew! That's not key! Why about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's X-Men X -Men faces. <sighs> I guess I really don't have much of a choice. behind the podium. The title of this poem is called The title of this poem is Where to Fly. Ahem. Marco begins reciting a poem. Her clear, prominent voice fills the room. More than that, her inflections reflections is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line that she recites, bringing the words to light. Is this something she's done before, or is it simply a- well, she's simply a natural? I think it's a little bit of both, man. 
Anyway. I glance around me. Everyone has no eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yu has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayuri? I'll go next. Woo! There's my love for the saying! <laughs> I like how Sayuri gets that reaction. <laughs> Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keep her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's called... After an image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this! Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllables of a fierce, incompetent woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she accumulates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse of in, into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned! Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she... as if she bewildered her, even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards. Afterwards. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to an, into a seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. <sighs> Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Sayori wanted to be second, but Yui, but Yui was fired up after Monica's recitation. And anyway, Sayori hops out of her chair and gently walks in, walks to the podium. This what's called my battle. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. Oh, Sayori. Sayori! This is not what I thought! How did you guys do it so easily? Uh... Try not to think you like you recite to other people. Imagine, imagine you recite it to yourself. Imagine you recite it to yourself. Like in front of a mirror or your own head. It's your poem. So I come about the best... So I come about the best... Best now. <coughs> Sorry. It's your bow, so it'll come out the best way. That's that way. I, s I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like, like Sayori is. It's serene and very sweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new me. Maybe this is what maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. Maybe. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good, good job, Sayori. Papyrus. That's the great papyrus. <laughs> Hi, 
had to steal my line again, huh? You better get Just behave yourself. much of a selection of what to read. I just have to go where I work for today. I stand up and, and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel, feel terribly awkward. I resent my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own right, it's hard to put an energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry. I'm not really, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry so much. Don't worry, don't worry about so, don't worry about so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going! Natsuki, Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of his seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because he was acting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called... Chop! Natsuki takes a breath. Once she, start once she starts reciting the poem, so her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little un unthusias, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's not to get trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they they bounce up and down, as if given life to as if given life to the poem. Natsuki's Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She helps back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say! You better not make me do that again! Uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to do a sign for other people? I mean, doing it for other people would be way easier! I can put whatever face I want for other people! But when it's just my friends! probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you put it on this effort to for the club. 
Do's that pose again! Makes me really happy! Yeah. Uh, yeah. No problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to raise some problems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll first play tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's a big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and the game. <laughs> There's the MC being away again. Somewhere. But like I said before, the MC and Monica have to be careful what they say in front of the in front of Sayuri, Natsuki, and Yuri because they they might catch on if they if they know something's up. But anyway, I have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayuri? Yep. Look at you two. Always go all together like that. <laughs> Jeez. Don't make me. Don't make it such a big deal out of it. What the? Uh. You're seeing this too, right, guys? Why is that? What the hell is that? There's Marga on there, but I am very confused here. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? Whatever, I'm already. I walk over Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori's been a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayuri! Sorry, I spilled it out! Ah, no wonder! Um, I was thinking! I was, I was thinking about something from earlier! I think I'll be good too! Maybe! Sayuri fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Marga asked to walk over with you! Huh? What kind of question is that? Yeah, I'm a little surprised to see this. Usually it would be asking if Sai- uh, Not- Sayori asking if you want to walk home with Yuri or Natsuki. But seeing Monica there actually surprised me to be honest. I mean, I kind of feel bad for Monica that she doesn't have a- A route in the main game. Anyway. What kind of question is that? You kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Sayori! You really think I would ditch you for Maka? I always see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. True. This is silly, Monica. Hey, don't call me Monica. Unless that's a text error, but I don't know. Even I don't know what to make of that one. Anyway. You think about TV too much sometimes. Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Ain't that the truth? Sorry! Besides, 
Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? You never know in this mod, man. You never know. But I want, but I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Whoa. No. Anyway, I enter my house. Sonic X? Wait. Who's called? Who's, who's this? Marka! You always appear out of nowhere. So she does not die when she hangs, hangs herself. Oh, Dad. You still, you still need the business of money to make sure it works. Yeah, good idea, Marka. Are you? Duh! Like I said. You do it in the main game, I have no problems with it. But you do it right now? You may have been able to God mode for Sayuri. But do you have to do that pose? To my bedroom. I climb onto my dirty bed. It's a dirt it is dirty due to the fact I never washed it. Suddenly I fall asleep. I'm stopping here, Hedgehog Maniacs. I even I don't know what to say. Like I said, so sorry if my voice wasn't all that good at certain points. The weather was kicking in. What will be in store for me for this for the next video? You have to wait and see. Sonic X17 is signing out. Catch you guys next time.